So it's been a little while since I've done a video, but um, they just came out with a pretty big update for Power of Thrones, and I wanted to uh, to go over it since um, it changed a little bit of the way things are going on. So um, some of the basic things that are changed are if you go to your uh, resource buildings, they reduced the uh, the capacity for the um, how much they hold so they dropped it by about half so at level uh level 30 and 29 it only oh 330,000 so i want to say it was around 600,000 before um so when you're on a higher level you basically constantly have to uh to click these or they fill up um something else that changed um the let's see do we have a full uh, resource plot that one's not full i think the food probably do we have a, okay here we go so if you see on the right there it says it holds six hundred thousand. so the it used to only hold um about four hundred thousand. so the resource plots got a little bigger um so that was a good thing and um they definitely also increased the, the cost to upgrade buildings, I am fairly certain. Um, now if I was going to upgrade this one, you can see it costs 20 million food. Um, yeah, they definitely made things uh, more expensive so that it takes longer to, uh, to grow, um, trying to slow the game down. But the main thing that they did to actually change the gameplay is... If you go to the arena there on the top on the right they put this top rank thing in now this has been here for a while but always said it was you know upcoming so they they finally went live so on the left here you have you know the top 10 um it tells you your formation power like you can see mine's like almost 12 million crypt who's the next most powerful his is around 8 million and then down to uh, Ballywick, who is uh, 4 million power. Um, and then you have the points. I have, uh, you start off with 1,000 points, and you lose three or four points, it seems like, if you win, or I mean, if you lose, and you gain points if you win. Um, now, they have a thing for all servers, but right now there's only one server, so it, that doesn't really matter. Um, so your rewards... You have to hit that little spyglass on the right. And so it shows one, two, and three. It's hard to read, but um, so right now, it, first place gets five Lubu fra fragments, second place, three, I believe, and then I don't know, whatever get, thirds gets. And uh, so it goes down to the top 100. Um, if you're over 100, you don't get any Lubu fragments. You also get exchange coins, which exchange coins are really good because that gives you uh, your your skins for your city and your skins for your airship. So that's good. And then you get gems, which are always useful. Um, and then there's these daily rewards. So you get these coins, which if you go to the store here on the bottom right, um, you can buy two Lubu fragments for 250. You can see I, in the top right there, I have 100. Um, you can also buy the exchange coins. Um, this is also, so far, the only way to unlock Bologna. So, um, so if you want an extra hero, um, you have to, you know, buy hers for 100. So, yeah. Um, all right, so fighting. Now, you click fight. You know, it's pretty, uh, pretty obvious. And you can see free challenge on the top right. So, I use my three free challenges. So... In order to do an additional fight, what you need to do, see if I uh, if I clicked fight on Aziz there, um, I'm gonna there's my formation. You can change your formation, uh, change your heroes, whatever. And I'm gonna click fight, and it says insufficient number. Okay, so if I want to fight Aziz, who, um, yeah, sure, why not? Um, on the top left here, there's that little contract or scroll or whatever. So you hit the plus sign, and it's going to ask for 100 gems. It's a little pricey, but whatever. Um, so I'm going to click buy, and you know, it gives you the, the warning. All right, so now I have one you can see. So, all right, Aziz is there, and um, 
Is there anyone else I'd rather fight? Um, yeah, let me... So, I don't want to fight Aziz. So, I'm going to go through. And I want to fight Marzok because, well, he's a higher level. So, and you get more points from higher levels. So, I'm going to fight him. And so I click fight. There's my formation. I'm going to click fight again. All right, now it's loading. So when you fight on this top rank, it's all automated. So you set up, it's kind of like you're the coach. You set up the, uh, the formation and you can set up your, uh, your hero skill things there on the bottom. And other than that, it's all automated. So you can see my hero Prometheus is lightning bolting everybody. And now he's just blasting away. And when, okay, now you got another skill, he just used that. And so it just does what it wants. And it actually does a fairly okay job, especially when going against another, you know, bot. So, um, yeah, so Prometheus, I'd say, is one of the better um, heroes and uh, or generals, whatever you want to call them. Uh, the other thing they changed, which I'll show you after this fight, is how long um, certain um, units take to uh, to recruit. Mainly, they just changed the um, the Dragon Knights. So, uh, so yeah. So, all right. So you see, I gained three points there. You can go on the history. Bam, three, 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 um, and. So now I'm up to 1037. All right, so yeah, like I said with the, the Dragon Knights, all right, so go to Recruit and Details. Um, they made them way more expensive, but you can't see that there. So click on them. Okay, each Dragon Knight takes five and a half hours. And I've been um, researching the uh, the recruitment speed up, so uh, I think it was it was over six before I started doing that because I had ignored that up until now, uh, but now I definitely am doing that. So and you can see it costs six hundred and forty eight thousand gold pieces to recruit one dragon knight. So they've gotten really expensive, and it's hundreds of thousands of everything else. When you look at the other guys, like here's the archers. Um, you know, they cost 129,000 gold. So, I mean, they're not cheap, but, you know, they're only, they're not in the hundred thousands of everything else. So, um, do, 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 oops, don't want to hit that. So, yeah, 70,000, the infantry, uh, royal guards aren't that much and you can see it's only 37 minutes to recruit one of these so it's pretty quick i don't know why they went so they gave me i asked the devs and they gave me some convoluted answer about the them being stronger um you know these guys are the the um battlefield fortress the siege guys they're really expensive they take five and you know whatever hours but they've always been taking a long time and you only have three in the queue so um the other thing which I don't think this is new, but I didn't realize it, is these numbers here, you know, they're, they're, um, well, let's look at the Dragon Knight. Um, you know, the 33800 and the 59000 for the attack and the health, that changes based on the level of your, your Dragon Knight. So I thought that these numbers here stayed the same and then it just increased on your formation but you can see the number on the bottom left hand corner of that picture there and that actually uh, shows what level they are so these numbers change as you level up their technology so it doesn't stay static so um so yeah and uh but yeah so the main change here is that um is a top rank one which i actually think was a a very good addition to the game um you know like exchange currency is really really useful so being able to get four a week it adds that uh, makes it a lot easier because it used to be there was only certain events you could get them on they would limit it so it took a really long time to to get that and you need a lot like i'll show you here 
Um, so I have the green city. Um, so I've unlocked that one. And uh, so if I wanted to get this Warsaw city here. Oop, that one's not open. So, okay. So if I wanted King's Throne as well. I would need 66. I have 43, but it takes forever. It takes months. So now, you know, adding that weekly uh, exchange currency, plus you can buy them in the store, that'll make it a lot easier for people to get these uh, these skins. Oh, one thing I just learned um, since we're here about the, the skins. So you have on the bottom there, you have activate attribute and dress attributes. It really is not that clear. You can kind of understand it if you go to the details, but it's still not really worded very well. So essentially what it is, is the activate attribute is what you get only when you're actively using this skin. The dress attributes you get, or wait, sorry, mix that one up. The activate attribute you get regardless. That's if you've unlocked this, you will get that 35% food production or for Green City, 50% food production. However, since I have dress attribute of research 20% and recruit 20%, if I unlocked King's Throne, I would only get the 14% and the 14%. So they don't stack. The activate attribute stack. So that way you can unlock all of these different ones and get the dress or the activate attributes regardless. And they all add up. But you can only use the dress attributes for the ones that you are getting. Um, the other thing they have here is, so you get, I guess, as many points as, like, this colorful one here has seven stars. So if I bought that one, it would put me up to, let's see, I have seven, so that put me at 14. So I'd get the building 5% and the soldier attack 5%. Um, so warship, same thing here. I don't have a warship yet. But, so the activated tribute of 15% attack is good, but for the dress, this only would give you the 30% movement speed um, while that one is being used. So, if you unlock the fire song and the airship, you're getting 30% attack. So that adds up pretty good. But, anyways, so that's what I've learned in the meantime, and, um, you know, the updates that we've had with this, uh, this new... Uh, this new update. So, um, all right. Thanks everyone.